Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video. Now that the uh, season has totally pretty much grown as much as it's going to grow, we are gonna get up into the 80s a little bit uh, the next couple of weeks. Today is September 24th, and now that we've had a full growing season, and I haven't done a weed application since uh, mid-June, so uh, I've let the uh, centipede kind of grow naturally uh, with those couple of fertilizer applications I did. Uh, but no weed uh, applications or herbicides or anything like that since uh, my atrazine application in mid-June. So I wanted to see what this Celsius herbicide is all about. I've heard a lot of great things about it. I'm really kind of excited to try this and um, we'll go over the mixing, how to mix it, um, how to apply it, uh, what you can expect to see, like the weeds controlled at certain rates. Uh, the label is great for like spelling out what rates attack which weeds. So it's a really detailed label and um, I'm excited to see what I can do with some of these bad areas that I've got. This area behind me is uh, just covered in weeds and I don't really maintenance this area very much. I don't even think I did any atrazine back here uh, back in the uh, spring. So as a result I've got weeds everywhere back here. This is going to be a great test for this area. I still have chamber bitter back here. I've got some like dichondra. Um, all kinds of stuff. So grassy weeds, broadleaf weeds, this is going to be a really good test to see what this stuff can do. And today the high is like 75, so it's also a good test temperature-wise to see what how effective this is when the highs aren't in the like mid-80s and not in lower 90s. Usually the more, uh, the higher the temperature, the more effective a weed control is going to be. But I've read, and the label isn't very good actually, it, it's saying what temperature range to spray this in. But as long as it's below 90 degrees, you should be fine. And I think I've read online where anywhere below 65 degrees, it's going to be much slower to act. So your weeds might take uh, two to three weeks to show any kind of damage. Uh, that's one thing I've read, one detriment to this stuff is it can be kind of slow acting but it does work well, supposedly. So I'm excited about that. It's not as quick acting as like a Fertilone Weed Free Zone, like I've done a couple videos on. That stuff, you can see results like overnight from that stuff. Uh, it's great on broadleaf weeds and things like that. But the reason why I wanted to get this mainly is to attack the chamber bitter. I haven't had a horrible problem with chamber bitter this year. It's been amazingly improved from the atrazine applications that I do as well as bag mowing and keeping the seeds from blowing out all over the lawn. So that's done a great job, but I still have areas like this behind me here um, that is just covered up. I mean, look at all this right here. So this is gonna be great to test this on. I've even got, looks like crabgrass right there. Um, and here's some of the chamber bitter um, that is actually Still pretty healthy, it's got that woodsy stem. So this is gonna be a great test for this Celsius to see what it can do. Okay guys, as you can see here, the label is very good at uh, being specific about how much you need for the low, middle, or high rates. And it also gives at each rate what weeds are controlled at that rate. So here we are at the medium rate. <clears throat> and you can see chamber bitter here in the medium uh, rate. So that medium rate translates to uh, three quarters of a teaspoon per gallon of water. So if you do a two gallon jug, it's one and a half teaspoons, three gallon, two and two, two and a quarter. And if you have a four gallon backpack spray or something like that, you'd use one tablespoon for the medium rate. Uh, the high rate, as you can see here, it's got some other weeds listed in addition to all the other weeds, but you've got Lespedeza in there and Dallas grass, dove weed, large crab grass, uh, prostrate spurge, the clumpy ryegrass that you can see in centipede lawns. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do the high rate as kind of a test and just see how it does, see how the centipede reacts. So with that being said, um, they give a cup, if you can see here, with very specific uh, grams um, that you can measure out this way but I actually like kind of the generalized uh, three-quarter teaspoon or one teaspoon per gallon for the high rate. That just makes it very simple. So I just got a teaspoon uh, measure out of the kitchen and um, just gonna do it that way. Then 
we can just shake it up and be ready to go. If you want to add a surfactant, obviously that won't hurt anything. Uh, just to get the a surfactant's purpose is to get the weed control to adhere to the weed better and just cover the surface area of the weed a little bit better. For right now, I'm just going to do one gallon and uh, spot spray where I see weeds and uh, see what that can do for us. All right, this is gonna be a really good test to do. This is a very mature uh, chamber bitter plant weed that uh, is pretty pretty big. I'll let it kind of go over here on the uh, outskirts of the, of the lawn. And so this is gonna be a great test to see what this Celsius can do. Let's spray it really thoroughly and just see how many days it takes to uh, have any effectiveness on it. This is another good test area that we need to uh, see how well this is going to do. Um, this area right here coming down off this slope, um, it kind of bled into the yard this year. It's kind of a ground ivy type weed. But look at how much this took over right in here. Um, see, I can't, I'm having trouble identifying this. If, if any of you guys know what this is, um, it's got kind of a, uh, hexagonal shape I think leaf but it's it's pretty small uh, I haven't been able to identify that for whatever reason it doesn't look like it's any type of clover if it is uh, then I'm unaware of what type of clover that is but as you can see it's kind of just taken over this little area right here and this is gonna be a great test to see what the Celsius can do uh, on this kind of widespread area right here Okay guys, here you can see the uh, chamber bitter. This is uh, October 6th. I originally sprayed this chamber bitter on September 24th. So it's almost been two weeks. It's been about 12 days. And as you can see here, it's totally, uh, it's lost its color. And it's it's really wilted and just kind of weak. And uh, so that, it's done a really good job at knocking this back. It took a little while, as Celsius can do. Uh, here you can see it's, I don't know if you can pick up the color of that very well, but it's a lot more pale and yellow than healthy chamber bitter is. If you can compare this, and this is a healthy chamber bitter right here. See how green and vibrant that is versus this. It's totally uh, knocked back and it should disappear within the next, I don't know, week or so. But that is a good indicator that this Celsius worked really well. Uh, I've got some other weeds out here. This uh, test area that I mentioned earlier, um, it has a lot of discoloration in it. A lot of these dichondra type weeds are turning yellow and pale as well. You can see that one. All this kind of yellowing. But this is a good test in cooler temperature. Um, I want to try to get this whole area to kind of fill in next year. I'm going to try to maintain this area better. And uh, now that I have the Celsius, I feel like I can uh, get the centipede to try to take over these areas. And uh, instead of weeds, just uh, have the centipede fill in. And this has actually filled in a lot this year. This used to be kind of a dirt patch area and just scattered centipede here and there. But it's filled in pretty well. Um, and look at these areas over here that are just dying. Like this is really pale and yellow compared to what it, the natural color of it. And as you can tell here, this was a lot of chamber bitter in here, um, in this area, that is totally wilted and uh, on its way out. So overall, a, a great result, a uh, good test, even though it, we have had cooler temperatures at night, especially. Um, so I'd give Celsius a really good uh, grade on, on these weeds. And as you can see right here is the ground ivy type weed that, that I had. It's kind of taken over an area over here. Um, it's really pale and yellow as well and wilted 
uh, if you want to take a look at this, you see those yellow spots in there versus the healthy, which is right over here. So I think I missed this little area right in here. Uh, that's the good contrast though to see what it looks like healthy versus what it looks like sprayed. It's very wilted right here and uh, going to be gone. So great job by the Celsius. Hope this video has been helpful. Uh, Celsius is just a great product to use as far as post-emergent uh, weed control, especially in centipede lawns and Bermuda and warm season grasses. It's not recommended for cool season lawns, uh, but it's good to know there's a product out there. Even though it is expensive, it does a great job and it's dependable and it actually kills these tougher to, to kill weeds that aren't, you know, there's hardly any other herbicides out there labeled for weeds like chamber bitter and tough to kill stuff like dove weed and Dallas grass and crab grass and things like that. So I would give this product an A just for that. Um, it's easy to mix, it's easy to apply, and it kills, and, it's, and the shelf life is like a few years, and it's gonna, that $100 is gonna last you that full you know, three years. And uh, just a great product. I think going forward when I apply it, just uh, learning sake, the only thing I don't like about spraying uh, herbicides with a hand can is if you don't have any blue dye or green dye, in your can, it's very difficult to make sure that you're getting all of the weeds, especially if you have a bigger yard like I do. So I missed a few areas that I'll have to go back over. And uh, I think going forward, I might get some of that blue dye and just put like a teaspoon of that in there. And it will mark, uh, that way I'll be able to visually see what areas I've sprayed and what areas I haven't. Next spring after the lawn wakes up this will be a great tool to have a great weapon to have against any weeds uh, that um, are going to pop up next year thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time